So in this video, we're going to talk about multiplying by 10. Multiplying by 10 is incredible, but it's far too often that we hear about teachers just saying, you can just shift everything to the left and add a zero. That's not good enough. We want to know why. So I've set up 10 times 23. So we have 10 groups of 23. So each group has 23. And I'm going to show you how we can pack it in such a way that it'll show why you can shift to the left, why you end up adding a zero. So the way we're going to pack is we're going to work with these columns. So I'm just going to take all of these ones. How many ones are here? Now remember, it's 10 rows. So there are 10 ones right here. I'm going to pack them up. As you can see, it made a 10. I'm going to keep going. Pretty amazing. So all of those ones, because we're multiplying by 10, there's the perfect amount of ones to make a new 10. So we had three ones. So the ones all the way on the right, there were 10 ones, they made a new 10. The ones in the middle, there were 10 ones, they made a new 10. And then that third one, there were 10 ones. We had 10 of them, made our 10. All right, we can do the same thing with the tens. So there are 10 tens right here. We can pack them up. And we had 10 10, so we were able to make 100. And another 100. Now the reason this works is because 10 is special. If we were multiplying by any other number, it wouldn't work out so beautifully. So what are we left with? Three tens, so that's 30. two hundreds, 230. You just add the zero, it's like shifting it over. 